Nigeria's rescued lender Intercontinental Bank and uh, rival Access Bank have won shareholders' approval for a 70% buyout of the troubled lender by Access and a combination of the two companies in the next year. We now cross over for the first time here on CNBC Africa as part of our growth into the African continent to Access Bank in Lagos to talk to Agboje Agimokwede. He is Chief Executive Officer of uh, uh, Access Bank. Um, Agboje, a very good afternoon to you. First, uh, congratulations uh, on winning shareholders' approval for the combination of the two banks. But let's talk first about the broad uh, synergies between the two banks that you, you hope to realize with uh, the uh, acquisition. Thank you, Godfrey. I, there are a number of reasons why for us the transaction with Intercontinental is of uh, significant value. I think the first is that integration will be significantly eased by the fact that we use the same technology platform, FlexCube. And uh, as a matter of fact, uh, Intercontinental on the hardware and infrastructure side has made probably the best investments in FlexCube of any sub-Saharan bank, I, uh, African bank I know of. And we seem to have the strongest set of skills. So when you, com you, know, when you combine uh, cutting edge uh, infrastructure hardware with very strong skills, you can see the beginning of uh, very strong technology synergies. Beyond that, you know, it's, it's quite known that Access Bank is a, is a corporate banking powerhouse. Intercontinental has a very, very strong retail franchise, you know, powered by over almost 400 branches. So when you combine, you know, the retail banking generation uh, uh, capacity of Intercontinental with our lending capacity to the corporates, you begin to see and understand, you know, why we expect to see a surging NIM. Uh, in a sense also, you know, we have a similar uh, uh, people compliments in terms of the fact that you know they have uh, an aggressive go-to-market culture you know just as we as we seem to share as well so there are several uh, complementarities in this transaction mm. now correct me if I'm wrong here the figures that I've seen in terms of the shareholders who voted today on the transaction you had 10 billion shares voting for the transaction 10,000 voting against and 12 million are uh, abstaining just how overwhelming was the support for the transaction from your shareholders in the case of Access Bank, I think it was a unanimous uh, support. I mean, 100% across board for all three resolutions. It is not strange. I mean, typically in most of our general meetings and given the level of governance, you know, uh, that Access Bank has attained, you know, you have very strong shareholder support, you know, for our transactions. We spend a lot of time in educating, you know, our stakeholders as to why we do the things we do. And we ensure that by the time, you know, we convene a meeting like this, you know, we've obtained their support. Hmm. So, let's talk about what you intend to do with Intercontinental Bank. Now, in most transactions, when you have got a big acquisition like this, it takes time to bed down that acquisition, but it also is a lot of management time to try and get together the two business working together. But before perhaps we look at that, let's talk about numbers, because one of the first uh, issues that many people deal with when they do an acquisition is to look at overall numbers. And in many cases, we do see people uh, being uh, allowed to go. Into, in other words, you have um, uh, fire and stuff like that. Are we looking potentially here at a reduction in the size of the workforce that we have at both banks? I don't think this is a transaction where which we approach from a business rationalization standpoint alone. I mean, clearly to obtain the synergies that we, we see, we have to look at issues of branch overlap, uh, human uh, 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 staff complement overlap and so on. And where necessary, I mean, if you do have uh, uh, redundancies, you have to deal with them. But uh, fortunately, in, in, in the markets that we see and given the opportunities in the Nigerian market, there is, in a sense, enough space for those who have the capacity you know, to run at the access bank speed. Uh, I think really for us, the issues of uh, staff rationalization will be more out of a function of, you know, can you do it? And if you can't, I mean, obviously, you know, uh, there are opportunities, you know, uh, vast opportunities elsewhere. But as far as, you know, the people are on board, I think that we all run together. Yeah. Now, this is one of the more complex transactions in that you are actually acquiring a bank that was bigger than yours before the crisis hit uh, uh, last year. And uh, so there's going to be a lot of work that's required from your side in terms of bringing the two businesses together. Are you looking at keeping the branch network and some of the infrastructure that you're taking over from uh, Intercontinental? Let me speak about integration, you know, a bit, you know, and the reason why I, I want to do this is that yeah. Access Bank is in a very unique position. 
because of the amount of time we spent on this transaction, we know we've been at this since December 2009. We've had the opportunity to do what is, you know, essentially almost 18 months of due diligence. Beyond that, I mean, we've had a very cooperative management, board and management team in, in Intercontinental. And this has allowed us to do something which is, I believe, unheard of. For the past almost 12 months, uh, a joint team of Access and Intercontinental people have been working in Access Bank offices. I'm talking about 35 people in in all you know so today actually uh, i do know so much about intercontinental as well as you know members of the access bank uh, management team and, and and vice versa this has also given us the opportunity to begin to you know build uh, uh, you know and bond and build a, a common set of values across you know the the two management teams that are about to be fused into one uh, we have uh, had an excellent track record on integrations as a bank in the past in fact we've won uh, some global awards based on the quality and effectiveness of, of some of the integration assignments we've handled. On this particular one, we continue to work with Accenture, who has been the firm that we have uh, basically uh, uh, built a very, very strong integration toolkit with since 2004. We're also working with, uh, uh, on the communication side, you know, Brunswick. So if you, if you like, you know, this is an integration that uh, has, you know, has been very well planned. And with Access Bank's uh, legendary execution capabilities, you know, I go into this with a lot of, with a lot of confidence. Um, if there is one thing that uh, Access Bank uh, uh, people are known for, it's, you know, it's hard work and, you know, readiness to do what it takes, you know, to hit the uh, targets and objectives. Uh, we actually have a business plan that was ready, an integration business plan that was ready two months ago submitted by the way to the regulator so in terms of regulatory approval for a number of the steps you know that we want to take uh, and the questions around okay how long is it going to take for you to get approvals from uh, the central bank for this and that you know the good news is we've already gotten our approvals right. yeah you know today given that we've done our, our meetings and our shoulders have approved the transactions the the, the central bank is is uh, is uh, feel sufficiently compelled you know to to, to support you know, the, the steps we are about to take insofar as they are in line with regulatory requirements. Yeah. Now, most analysts that we speak to in Nigeria say that you got a very good price for, the, for, for Intercontinental Bank, but there's a sense that perhaps down the line there may be costs that may come out of the woodwork. What's your sense on that? Well, you know, in, until you get into uh, an institution that you are managing or that you are combining with, you really cannot say for sure that you have a full view of uh, all the costs of you know, a combination and so on. But I think that uh, having spent you know, more than 12 months looking at the balance sheet of Intercontinental Bank, having spent the amount of time and to the degree, granular degree that we have done, looking through their books, looking through their practices, looking through their cultures, we, th we have a fairly you know, uh, 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 strong view as to, as to what we are getting. Beyond that, the transaction is structured in a sense to, to cater for surprises in, in, in our financial accommodation amount, which is the amount that the AMCON you know, will be issuing in bonds you know, to fill the negative, uh, the negative capital position today. Yeah. So when do we see the benefits of the combination beginning to drop down to the bottom line from here on? I think that we look at this uh, transaction in, in, in phases. The first phase is where we are going to run Intercontinental Bank as a high-performing subsidiary of Axis Bank, which will be from 9 to 12 months, starting from basically October 4th. Uh, during that period, the, the things that you will see is that we will begin to build internal capital uh, based on uh, uh, the cleanup that we intend to do uh, in the books of uh, Intercontinental Bank and the fair value. A fair valuation of certain non uh, non core business assets you know that uh, that are, are at, you know basically or currently current uh, valued at cost mm -hmm. so you will see you know an increase if you like in the group uh, uh, shareholders funds beyond that you know immediately you are going to see a radical reduction in the expense run rate uh, that intercontinental carries uh, we have um, a day one to day 180 set of events literally we have written out every day what happens and we have certain targets every day in terms of expense reduction and they are quite quite significant indeed in the in the course of the month of october we will be making public to our stakeholders you know what you know our expense reduction game plan is over the over the next uh, six months uh, so what you are going to find during the subsidiary phase is that it's more of a a reduction in the expense run rate of the uh, intercontinental bank which we believe would make intercontinental profitable on its own uh, thereafter, I mean, in about uh, nine months' time, we begin the actual merger and where the, the synergies, you know, begin to kick in, particularly on the, on the revenue side. So if you like, say, over um, uh, the next 12 months, it's going to be more of uh, cost reduction. And after that, you will begin to see the re revenue enhancement kick in. Yeah. So 
Where does this place you now in terms of uh, your overall size in the Nigerian markets? I've seen various reports, some suggesting that you may be the third biggest bank by assets. I'm not too sure where we stand here. Help me out here. Well, I'll just put it this way. I mean, um, uh, my team and I uh, have consistently met the targets that we have uh, set for ourselves, and we always make our targets public. In 2007, we set a five-year target of moving from a number 10 position to a top three position, which takes us to 2012, right? right. I believe that by 2012, we would have met that target. Um, there are three metrics that I would like us to look at. Size, in its absolute sense, you know, you know financial uh, size, balance sheet size, and so on. Sure. Efficiency uh, uh, metrics as well, you know, if you like, uh, and then if you like, profitability. Uh, our goal is that uh, in the course of 2012, on those three metrics, you know, we rank top three. And uh, beyond uh, 2012, I don't think that three is a place we would like to be. We need to move beyond that. I'm getting a sense that we're going for the top card here. I didn't say anything. You did. Igboje, <laughs> Igbokwede, <laughs> CEO of Access Bank. Thanks very much indeed for joining us today for our first crossing to Access Bank. And there will be more such crossings into the future.